So hey everybody, uh, me and Tim Miller here in the middle of North Carolina. Um, me and Tim have been basically traveling around in our, our little home on wheels, our travel trailers all across the US, all across creation. And we happen to land near each other here in North Carolina and we're just spending the day with them and me and Tim were talking and just thought, man, we need to capture some of the things that we're talking about in relation to the translation. And some of you, maybe not everybody knows, but Tim's been plugging away with the Lord uh, on this translation stuff for three plus years. Lord gave a very uh, specific word to him uh, in Duluth, Minnesota, and he, he's been kind of going at it since then. And, and so anyway, it's been quite the process, I know for your heart, bro, and, and where, where it's kind of led you. But um, one of the things that, that I wanted to start with had to do with um, gasoline versus diesel. And you were kind of talking about, because we're, we're kind of driving with our trucks all over creation, and it was just a really good example for us, but how translation works between the Greek and the English and diesel and gas and, and how that goes. So I, I just wanted you to be able to share that, just kind of a nugget, you know, related to translation. Yeah, totally. Yeah, well, you know, we were just kind of talking last night and um, and I was just, I was kind of telling Richie, you know, I've, I've kind of been really, I've been really humbled uh, in the midst of this process and also just really touched by the Lord, just uh, concerning his, his word. And, and one of the things that, that I realize, um, at least for myself, where I myself, you know, everybody has strong, it seems like, it seems like translation is one issue where people have really strong, well, many issues, but this <laughs> particular issue, really super strong opinions. Yeah. And as you know, I love asking people just randomly, you know, what do you think is a good translation and what are the characteristics of it? Yeah. And, uh, and so, uh, and it's I, really, yeah. I was just gonna say too, I, it's true because we've all been inundated with, with certain uh, elements that that we think might make a good translation right or whatever but we don't fully understand the background of what that looks like to actually create a translation right totally so. and and I'm this in the same boat and yeah and uh, you know just recently I, I just asked uh, three friends of mine kind of what they thought and as one of them thought about it he just basically concluded with you know what this is just the one that was given to me when I was a new believer <laughs> and that was kind of like, I like that one yeah and that's what I know and and which is, I mean, totally fine too. And then you have, we had, there was a married couple and talking to them, they both had uh, very different things they valued in a translation, exact opposite actually. Wow. And one of the, the, the husband, his favorite was the NASB, which is kind of stereotyped as more of the one, more literal translations. Yeah, yeah. Conservative kind of. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then you've got the, the other ones, her favorite was the NLT. Okay. New Living and, Translation. New Living, New yeah. Living Translation. Yeah. And it's so, my son's favorite. Yeah. Yeah. And, and asking them why that was it was really interesting and and so based on what they valued and what they were looking for defined what they saw as a good translation and so uh, interesting and the more I've kind of researched the process you know into 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 what it looks like you really have to define it by its goals and um, whether it's you know are you here's your goals in it mm -hmm. and if you're if you're these are your goals you define that parameter then you kind of able to evaluate its worth. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> value. On, yeah, it's totally. value based on, totally. on that. So anyway.